Hey guys, Vidgamer Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a much quicker video compared to some of my other stuff. Um, so this is just a garage that I've made that's completely based off of Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. So if you haven't seen those shows, then maybe some mild spoilers. Probably not. But if you're watching this video, then you probably have. Anyway, um, we're just going to get started. Uh, the first car over here is Jimmy's car. Um, which he uses throughout most of Better Call Saul up until Bagman in Season 5. Real quick, I do want to say, um, every single license plate is identical to the ones in the show because the new license plate creator. Anyway, this is about as close as you can get to a Suzuki Esteem. This right here is the D Class A, um, premiere. The ASEA is also kind of close, but they're both similar, but they also both have things that are wrong with them with, to the Esteem, if that kind of makes sense. Like, for example, the, uh, Premiere, the front end looks more like the Esteem, whereas with the ASEA, the back end does. So I chose this one because the overall body type is more similar, at least according to me, but they're kind of interchangeable in that matter. Uh, so next up is Saul's car, which he uses in Breaking Bad and one episode in Better Call Saul. This is his Cadillac DeVille uh, in GTA. This is the Albany Washington, and you can see there's the lawyer up plate. Pretty iconic. Uh, this car is much easier to find because this model in GTA is pretty much completely based off of his car, except the back's a little different, but it's pretty much the same. So uh, next is Mike's car. He uses this throughout Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. This is based off of a uh, Chrysler Fifth Avenue, um, and this car in GTA is the Virgo Classic. Um, so this is also pretty much the same exact car. Um, so this, uh, the makeup, by the way, is Dundreary, uh, the Dundreary Virgo, Virgo Classic. Um, so th that car is pretty much the exact same to the uh, one it's based off of. So this one is Gus's car. It's in real life. It's a Volvo. In GTA, it's pretty much identical to the Volker Ingot. This is Howard's car. You can see the Namaste plate. Um, this is about as close as I could get to it. Uh, in the show, he has a Jaguar. This is the Ubermatt Oracle XS. Um, it's in a dark green, but in the show, there's not really anything that I could find, at least in GTA, that looks the same to the one in the show. It is kind of similar with the lights. Um, you can see there's two circle lights on each side, but it's not as prominent as his, but it's fairly close. Uh, maybe just a modernized version of his car. Uh, anyway, moving on to the second level, there's more iconic stuff here. Like first off is Jesse's Monte Carlo. You can see there's the Capum license plate, Capum, whatever you want to say. Uh, there's the white tires with the red wheels. This is the Tahoma Coupe. Um, and you could just use your standard uh, Monte Carlo. I, it's gee, I think the Willard faction for it as well. But this, the front end at least, is much closer to Jesse's, so that's what I decided to go with. Um, this over here is another Volker ingot, but it's based off of Jesse's second car, which is a Toyota Tercel. Um, this pr looks pretty much identical, just like Gus's does, so the, Toyo the uh, Volker ingot can be used for both of those. Uh, next is the El Camino, that's seen in El Camino the movie, and um, the last couple episodes of Breaking Bad. It's pretty much just the standard... Uh, Chevelle Picador, I think is the name, with the red stripe on it, and in black. This is an Emperor Habanero, um, or Walt's Pontiac Aztec. It's about as close as you can get to it in GTA, because the Pontiac Aztec is the type of car where it's so unique that you're not really going to have anything that looks like it, unless it, there's a car specifically made for it, and I doubt that GTA is going to do that. Anyway, next is the last car Walt uses in Felina. It's another Cadillac DeVille, I think an older one, though. Um, so you can see it's that red color. In GTA, this is like a brown shade, I think. Uh, there's also the convertible uh, type roof, um, but it does look more like a red back to the color it does more look more like a red um then there is nacho's uh, amc javelin in gta this is the schister deviant um so this one looks pretty much the same except in better call saul the roof is all white but i don't think you can do that in gta but besides that paint jobs pretty much uh, the exact same uh, next is Lalo's car, which is a 1970, I want to say, maybe 1980 Monte Carlo, I think 1970. So it's in the silver, and you can see there's the convertible roof in the show. It's more of like a sand color, but in GTA, it doesn't let you change the color, but the convertible type is still there. Um, that's This is the car. It's not really seen a lot. Maybe only in 
one episode, um, but it's there. Next is Price's car, and sadly, you can't put the flame on it, but besides that, it's the same type. It's a Hummer H2, or in GTA, it's the Mammoth Patriot. Also, uh, Lalo's car is a uh, De Classe Vamos. Um, this is the RV, obviously, that they used throughout Breaking Bad, uh, which is in the game The Zirconium Journey 2. And this is pretty much identical to the one in the show, except maybe a little smaller. Um, so the same paint job in the cream color. So, um, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Uh, I do a lot of other stuff on this channel you guys might like. Uh, there's about five GTA Funny Moments videos, and um, they get better as they go. Uh, they're all, in my opinion, pretty good, uh, or at least the most recent three are. I just uploaded a grinding strategy that I use personally to get my money, which is actually how I afforded pretty much all these cars. Uh, it gets you about at least like 300,000 at every in-game day, uh, which is all free room. So if you guys want that or you just at least check out my channel, I mean, you know, I'm a developing YouTuber. could use the support and it does mean a lot. I'm not just saying that. Uh, I do put quite a bit of effort into these videos and the YouTube algorithm does not favor me all the time. So give those videos a watch or check out my channel. I do enjoy all the support. Uh, so I'll see you guys next one. Thank you guys for watching.